the Holy Apostolic Reform Church in Nungwa uh, Central, where uh, Apostle Samuel Anang Soa called for attitudinal change. <laughs> I will advise all Ghanaians to live by faith because without faith it is impossible to please God. We should trust our God for a miracle. God loves Ghana so much and he has done a lot of art for us. And we know God will continue to do so many things for us. And Ghana will flourish in the name of Jesus. In 2020 is going to be another historic time for Ghanaians. We're we'll going into the pools and we're going to vote to elect parliamentarians and also the president of this country. And I advise my church members and Ghanaians at large that they should not allow the youth to be tossed about to misbehave. We want to advise our youth who are so vulnerable that vote buying, vote selling, they should be careful about that. They should not go to the street to fight for any individual and eventually it will land them in trouble. We, we thank God the year 2020 is here with us. And yes, this year 2020 is our election year as well. And I am pleading with all the eligible voters to go out there massively to vote for a good leader, a leader who will lead us as a nation and we shouldn't allow uh, some of the politicians to, you know, buy our pensions for their own political kind of interests. I believe the good God who has been with us right from the beginning when we started our elections over the years is the same God who is going to see us through this uh, election ahead of us as well.